We'll pick that up there. Can't go out that door. Okay, manager's office, terminal access, welcome Jay Braden. Unlock office door. Okay, return to route. Messages. Uh, from Spacer's Choice. Miss Braden, the letter, this letter serves as, as an informal notification of our company's displeasure towards your management of the Emerald Vale Geo Geothermal Plant for reasons related to exceeding your staff budget in your latest quarterly report. Please select five subordinates to be dismissed immediately. Additionally, please contact our office to schedule your official reprimand at your earliest convenience. <laughs> failure, failure to schedule your official reprimand will result in, a, in an official reprimand. Okay. The Spacer's Choice family would like to collectively remind you that working for Spacer's Choice is not a right, but a privilege. Ah, bullshit. Okay. Um, from Jay Braden. To the esteemed members of the Emerald Veiled Development and Oversight Committees, I hope this letter finds you wealthy. After due consideration of your last letter, I have identified and terminated no fewer than five subordinates who were unable to provide sufficient justification for their ongoing employment. I would like to remind the Oversight Committee that while most Emerald Vale, most of Emerald Vale has failed to meet its production and output, uh, output quotas, particularly our agricultural and fishing canning departments, neither of which are anywhere close to profitable, the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains committed to providing cheap, cost-effective power to the entire region. Regards. Juno Braden, manager. Um, okay, yeah. Uh, from Spacer's Choice. Miss Braden, we have investigated the claims made against the profitability of the greater Emerald Vale region. Our offices agree with you. Agricultural, our, I'm sorry, agriculture and fishing canning have experienced a steady decline, while the Emerald Vale geothermal plant remains somewhat profitable. Our offices are currently investigating ways to implement additional cost-saving measures, which will ultimately lead to a leaner, more streamlined, more efficient geothermal power plant. Please be informed that the Spacer's Choice Development and Oversight Office has taken a significant insurance policy against the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. The office would like to assure you that this insurance policy is a standard procedure. Do not attempt to interpret, understand, or otherwise extrapolate meaning from this decision. <laughs> As a special courtesy, we have deployed a proprietary team of engineering specialists to the Emerald Vale geothermal plant. This team of specialists has been instructed to refit and upgrade the plant's population of auto mechanicals free of charge. Thank you for cooperation. Okay. So they're the ones that put all the damn robots in here in the first place. Interesting. Interesting. So we got the office door unlocked. Black Widow, what is going on? My man, it's good to see you. You're going to switch out my, <laughs> my plasma gun with a nerf gun, are you? Well, that doesn't surprise me, man. That's exactly something you would do, isn't it? Okay, so is this the door we opened? I think so. Ooh, lock it pick. Reconditioned exo helmet. What the hell is that? I gotta look at that. That's new. What's this do? Sneak plus five. Nice. What's that look like? Ooh, look at that, you guys. I look like a Jawa. <laughs> I love it though. It's awesome looking. Okay, we're gonna keep that on. Um, all right, let's go in here. Oh, that just goes back outside. Okay. Where does this go? Oh, in this room. Okay. Get the big cartridges from that dude. Terminal. Access file one. Um, error. Maintenance. Everything's been purged. Purged. Purge. 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 Okay. I had to borrow your copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. Radio has been sputtering and I need the reference. I've returned the copy to the repair bay. Uh. Who was this? Chaos everywhere. Mechanicals gone haywire. Gunfire. Hearing some screams. Oh la, I think that was someone's leg. Would like to leave early for the day. Please deduct a linguacy fee for my pay. Thank you. Proud to be a member of the Special Choice family. <laughs> okay. Uh, nah. Nice. Ooh, look at that. Fat loots. Fat loots. We like fat loots. Okay, so... We can go down, we can go left, or we can go right. We've already gone right, so let's go right. I think, have we checked everything out in this place? No, we haven't. There's some dervish mist. Any secrets we can find? Oh, okay, so that's the bot botanical lab route. And this must be the cannery. 
Edgewater, yeah, okay. More stuff to loot. Okay, that's the way we're supposed to go. So, before we go where we're supposed to go, let's go where we're not supposed to go. Oh, no, no, that goes outside. We don't want to go outside. Never mind. That's the door we came in. So let's go down first. Okay, we can't get in that door. More stuff. Got another terminal and a, ma and a mag pick. We can get into here. Assault rifle and heavy ammo. Okay, whoop. Okay, uh, Geothermal Security Office, Terminal Access, unlock the door. Uh, warning, this facility is in a state of lockdown. Authorization passcode is required. Enter the passcode. Spacer Thompson, welcome R. Thompson, personal files. Oh, that's right, he gave us that passcode early on. Uh, all right, access personal log 79. Okay. Chester Higgins again. That whole head. Found him fiddling around with one of the mechanicals, so I had to write him up for tampering with company property. Just in case I'm reading this a couple of days from now and feeling bad for what I've done, let me remind myself that I've warned him before. He's always been a little crooked in the skull. He was working on some logic module. I confiscated it. Should be in my lockaway room for the foreseeable future. That's what we have to find. Okay, so in a lockaway room. Gotta find it. Um doesn't sit right with me. Company's been replacing our guards with auto mechanicals. At this rate, I'm going to end up chief's, chief of security with no staff. Just a small army of mechanicals knocking about. Guns pointed every which way. Company tells us they're safe, programmed to treat us humans like their own. People are liable to break down, but an auto mechanical never will. I don't know. It doesn't sit right with me, but the company's never been wrong before, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Worst has happened. Mechanical's gone crazy. Locked myself down here, just trying to gather my courage. Gonna make a mad dash for the control room. Might be able to shut things down. We'll delete this entry if I ever return. Okay. And then finally, automated message six. Geothermal security office. Greeting, security chief S. Tanaka. This is an automated message initiated by Spacer's Choice Worker Safety Contingency Protocols. A security lockdown has been initiated. This is not a test. Your behavior during this lockdown will, will be reviewed during your quarterly audit. Anxiety is a common side effect of life-threatening situations engendered by security lockdowns. Fight back against anxiety with an ice-cold bottle of Zero-G Brew. <laughs> Zero-G Brew, an ale that's good for what ails you. Right. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. This game is awesome. So... This is, I think that's, I'm not sure what that room is. Was there an option for us to open something in here? No, I don't think so. Lock away room for the, for, whoops, for the foreseeable future. Hmm. Okay, that must not be the, the place we need to go. That might just be like a side room. What do we got going on down here? Oop, there's a mech. Let's just hit that little bastard with this plasma gun and just see what it does. I don't think it's going to do a lot of damage, but I could be wrong about that. Oh, it does do a lot of damage. Wow. Okay, nice. Well, we pissed somebody else off. That guy up there. That does a lot more damage than I thought it would. Okay, let's go loot this poor... Well, wait, what? Yeah. Ooh, we got a lot of red dots up there. Okay, we got another mod that will turn a weapon into plasma, which we might end up using on our new pristine assault rifle. 
Or we could put it on our sniper. One of the things the game doesn't have, or at least that I haven't discovered so far, is a uh, any kind of a light source, like a flashlight or something. So sometimes you get into these little dark areas, and you can't see very well. Hold on a second. I want to look and see what quest are we actually activated. Okay, so we're on the the divert power quest. Let's actually do this side quest first. I want to get that one out of the way. Okay, so that's where we need to actually go. So I guess we are going the right way. Immunosol. That's new. Harmful status effect duration minus 50. Wait, I thought we already had that with, um... I thought we already had that with something else. Companion ability cooldown. Yeah, this one. Oli Oli Toxic Free. It does the same thing as this, doesn't it? Harmful status effect duration minus 50. Last 25 seconds. Harmful status effect duration, minus 50. Last 15 seconds. Oh, this lasts longer. Okay. So that's a little more powerful. Gotcha. We're running out of space in here, man. We are running out of space. We're going to have to do something about that. Um, Is there something... One slot that we could clear up. We could need a couple nanners, I suppose. Uh, I'm not going to take the chaw. Okay, I'm digging this plasma weapon. Definitely digging the plasma weapon. We've got something over here. Look at all that stuff. Okay, so I guess we gotta go in here. Right, control armor. Can't get in there. Cigarette lighter. I'm sure that's all just junk. Another extendo site. What the hell is that? Lubrin sign spray? Tactical time dilation recharge rate plus 50, last 20 seconds. Oh, that's nice. Uh, here, let's put let's put this up here. Okay, so we've got to get up there to get to that dude's corpse. Oh, here we go. Any hostiles up here? Oh, there's one right there, floating around. Hacking skill is too low. Optional Chester's passcode. Do we have Chester's passcode? I guess we don't. I don't even know who the hell Chester is. Okay, here's the guy. Light machine gun. We already have one of those. Geothermal security chief's key card. All right. Does that get us into here now? Nope. We're also encumbered now. 
Too much stuff to loot, man. I sure wish I had a companion right now so I could offload all this crap onto them. What we should probably do is run back to that vending machine at the start and get rid of some stuff. Or, uh, can we break a few things down? That's only worth 16. That's a level 4. That's a level 3. Okay, but why does this do more damage than the level 4? That doesn't make sense. Light machine gun, light machine gun. Maybe maybe the stats are a little bit randomized on these on the weapons. That must be what it is. Well, wait a minute though. This does 19 damage. This does 21 damage, but this has lower DPS. Is the fire rate different? I don't get that. That doesn't make sense. Hmm. Weird. Oh, no, wait a minute. I'm, I'm being a noob. I'm not reading that right. Never mind. You can't take me anywhere. Forget I said anything. You guys didn't hear me say anything. Okay, let's break this down. For some reason, my brain wasn't working, but, you know, that happens a lot to me. Um... Okay. Armor. Let's break down this we don't need it um we want to keep our power armor for now i want to keep that we don't need two things of riot control armor that's level one that's level one so let's break that down too we'll drink some water I'll lighten this up just a smidge. I don't do these weigh anything? Yeah, they're like a half a pound each. Okay, well, that got us back to being able to walk around, but we probably should go. What do we have in our junk? Yeah, we got a lot of heavy junk in here, so we need to go back to that vending machine and sell that stuff off. What's this? Oh yeah, that's the thing we can't get to. Can't go through that door. That's probably where we decide to divert the power. Thing is, those, you know, because that's a main quest thingy. If we do that now, is it going to prevent us from finishing this other quest? That's why I, why I want to do the side quest first to get it done. We got a thingamadoodle here. Um, borrowed a copy of the Young Spacer's Guide to Mechanical Engineering. I think it's volume three. I need something to read down in the pit. Much obliged. C. Higgins. Hastily written note. Okay. Axis repair log 12. Corporate just sent a team of technicians to conduct a complete re refit of all of our mechanicals. Every sentry and drone. It's not my place to say so, but doesn't this run contrary to the Spacer's Choice mission of being as cheap as possible? <laughs> Um, yeah, that's actually very interesting. So if they refit the drones and then they went berserk, hmm, just in case I'm audited, I would like to formally express how grateful I am to be part of the Spacer's Choice family. Spacer's Choice is a leading brand in affordable sundry across um, Halcyon. It's not the best choice, it's Spacer's Choice. Okay, um, just finished a routine maintenance on our mechanical sentries. I found some strange modifications to their logic modules. I haven't had time to run a diagnostic, so I don't know what's been modified. All I know is that these modifications were introduced in our recent refit. The company went through the trouble of ref uh, refitting every single mechanical in the plant not long ago, guessing this was the work of those visiting technicians. I filed the report, but my su supervisor told me not to worry about it, so the company knew what it was doing, ordered me to forget about any alleged modifications to the logic modules. Decided to do a bit of sleuthing by my own self, got my hands on a logic mo module. Time to do a little experimentation. C. Higgins. Okay. So Higgins got his hands on a logic module. Now I'm starting to understand too why um, why Ludwig thinks that these guys are, excuse me, taking over the world because they have gone wackadoodle for sure. So we did we come through here already? I think. Yeah, we went into that restroom area. And we went up there. 
So, oh my goodness. Go away, Phantom. Higgins. Higgins is in here. Um, before we talk to Higgins, let's let's get rid of the, some of this extra junk, though. I just, I don't remember where to go. <laughs> well, how do we get, how the hell do we get in here? Do we come through here? Must have. Yeah, we came through this way. This place is a freaking maze in here. There we go. Okay, let's sell all of the junk, and that should lighten us up significantly. And get us some bank, too. Um, do we want to sell this? I think we do. Let's sell it. And let's go here real quick and... I don't think we need to carry around six apples. That's just a lot. So let's sell all of those. Just trying to get lightened up a little bit here is all. Let's sell that. What's this? Uh, time. Oh, yeah. Time tack, uh, dilation recharge thingamadoodle. Right. Gotcha. Uh, any other alcohol types of things we could sell? Or tobacco stuff? I don't think so. All right. Well, that lightened us up a little bit. We were supposed to go in here at one point. Oh, maybe this is where we decide how to switch the power. Use terminal. Redirect power. Plant status. Uh, Emerald Vale geothermal plant operating at 22% efficiency. Power is currently being distributed to Edgewater, Salt Tin Cannery, and Botanical Lab Laboratory. Warning, structural damage detected. Please notify your designated supervisor. Structural damage. Hmm. Okay. Warning. Safety failures detected. High, li high likelihood of moderate to severe structural damage. Does that mean this place is going to come down on our head when we switch the power? Redirecting power is an irreversible procedure. Uh, power redirection function has failed. Manual override required. Please activate all three electrical track switches. Interesting. Okay. Well, I'm glad we came this way because now we don't have to come back here. What the hell does that do? Uh, critical damage, 15%. Bonus to extra headshot, weak shot, damage 25%, last 20 seconds. Okay. So that would be a good thing to have right before a sneak sniper shot. Okay. Let's go back over this way. Anything hidden back here like that, for example? Look at all the hidden stuff, man. It pays to snoop around. Doesn't look like I can get up that way. Okay, let's go back down here. We've already been in those places. Did we check all these lockers? We did not. More stuff for us to get weighed down with. Overhauled... Okay, what? What was that? Overhauled power helmet. Oh, yeah, we already got one of those. Okay. Um, let's break that down. Melee, uh, melee weapon skills. Yeah, we don't need that. Let's break that down, too. And we'll break that down. That gives us lots of uh, parts now for repairing armor and stuff. And then, once again, let, oh, no, that's buyback. Yeah, we want to go here. Since we're right here. Because that canister thing we just got is pretty heavy, I think. Okay, back through here. Um, Let's go. Can we go this way? No, we can't. We have to go this way. Right, and then we came through here. What's this do? 
Oh, that's one of the... Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's trippy, man. That's, uh... That must be lava. This must be like a... Yeah, it is. It's a geothermal plant, right? So it's using lava for power. Didn't, that didn't connect in my head until just now. Okay, so we got one of those done. Because there is, uh... There's lava on this planet. And, uh... Well, there you go. Not real. You're not real. Uh, nope, I'm not real. I'm just a figment of your imagination, Higgins. What's in here? Oh, yeah, we were already in this room. Okay. Go away, Phantom. Go away, Phantom. Hello, my name is Phantom Old Guy. That's pretty cool looking, man. I think Higgins is uh, having some mental issues. You're not real. That is badass looking. All right, we got a room over here. Can't get through that way. I'll bet that stuff's probably hard, bad for our health to walk through. Just a guess. Just a hunch. Can we scooch through this way? Hmm, I don't know. I think we'd probably better find another route. That might not be safe. You're not real. You're not real. This is level three. No, 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 just leave me alone. Is he talking to me? Maybe he's talking to somebody else or a figment of his imagination. No, 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 just leave me alone. All right. Yeah, he looks like he's having a hard time. Pick up Mechanical Engineering Volume 3. Turn on an energizing ointment. We'll talk to him in a second. Let's pick all this other stuff up first. Antibiotics cream. He's got a bunch of bottles of alcohol next to him. Maybe he's been drinking a little too much. All right, let's talk to him. You're not real. You're not real. Get away from me, Phantom. Shoot. Scram. <laughs> um, calm down. I'm not trying to hurt you. Great. Another lunatic. Um, sneak 30. I wasn't trying to startle you. Most people don't see me coming. Um, yeah, let's do that. Most people? But I'm the only one left. No. Remember your first rule, Higgins. No arguing with the Phantoms. <laughs> That's his first rule. <laughs> see, see, Higgins, this is why you must always boil your sprats before ingesting. Mm-hmm. That's good advice. You're not imagining me. Slow down. Tell me what's going on. You're eating sprats? Um... Yeah, let's do the smart-ass answer. Of course. Sprats are an excellent source for my daily recommended intake of mercury. Of mercury? <laughs> Chester D. Higgins. The D stands for definitely not insane. Uh-huh. Okay. I use it as a reminder. You do that. Okay. Um... How long have you been down here? Hard to say. By my reckoning... Higgins has been here somewhere between two weeks and forever. <laughs> My recollection's a touch fuzzy these days. Is he referring to himself in the third person? Right, that's crazy enough for one day. Um, what exactly do you do here? Oh, Higgins has been many things over the years. Sprat Wrangler, Saltuna Critic, Aetherwave Personality, Chairman of the Board, Galactic Defender, Sisty Pig Tycoon. What? I've come a long way for someone who started off as a simple engineer right here in this- This guy is bonkers. Um, what happened to this place? Mechanicals lost their bolts. Opened fire on anything that moved. It was pandemonium. And you weren't killed? I was on cleaning duty at the time. <laughs> My old boss had me scrubbing pipes when the killing started. So, as usual, I missed out. Yeah, that's too bad for you, isn't it? Uh, you mentioned being engineer. Well, we know he, he hasn't starved because he eats sprats. I specialized in auto mechanicals, 
drones, sentries, repaired them, maintained, upgraded, did it all for my old workroom just over in the next section. If you worked on those mechanicals, you must know a way to stop them, right? Was that before or after you became a uh, sissy pig tycoon? I don't even know what the hell that means. How have you been, how have you been living down here? Uh, okay, yeah, let's do number one. Look, I don't want to fall into any trouble with the mechanicals. If they wise up to our plans, they will come for us with prodding irons. Ooh, prodding irons. We don't want that. Uh, persuade. I can deal with mechanicals. I made it this far, didn't I? Intimidate. Or you can help me and I won't feed you to the scraps. Your call. Let's do that. <laughs> Ironic deaths are the worst. You made your point. I'll help you. Okay. I uh, discovered a flaw. Their hostility levels were hardwired to maximum. There's no changing that, but you could rewrite their targeting protocol so they attack each other instead. That sounds good. Uh, mechanicals follow the behavior of their logic model. Someone tampered with it. I could do without the jargon. Just tell me what to do. Um, yeah, let's do number one. Yes, that's exactly it. I see you're also versed in the noble art of mechanical engineering. A little bit. There's a behavior control terminal in the other room. It should have options to change how the mechanicals act, including whom they shoot at. Oh, that reminds me. You'll need my passcode to access the behavior control terminal. Here, let me just write it down for you. Okay, I think that's the passcode we needed for that terminal that was up in that upper room. Any idea where I can find a logic module? Funny thing. I was working on a logic module just before the mayhem started. Security chief found me and confiscated the logic module. Security chief. Um, okay. I want to ask you something. The tail. Definitely start with the tail. If you're feeling adventurous, the oh. ears are a particular delicacy. <laughs> that sounds terrible. Um... Actually, okay, I, I mean, we know this, but let's just ask him any. How, how have you been surviving all this time? Jimmy'd opened the vending machines. That lasted a good couple of months. Eventually, I had to resort to more unconventional means of filling my insides. Like sprats. Okay, so you ate sprats. Braised. Boiled. Charred. Skewered. Sprats are good eating, friend. Chock full of brain food. Okay. Um... You said... Did we... I think we already asked I specialized him in yeah. our mechanicals. Okay, so, all right, I think that's all we need from this guy. So he gave us his password. Uh, let's look at the journal here really quick. So uh, Chester Higgins, an engineer at the geothermal plant, has been locked in there for years. Told you that that logic unit is probably in the plant security's office. A terminal log in the geothermal plant security office mentioned that the logic unit has been locked in a storage room across the hall. You'll need to find the key card to the room unless you can pick your way in. Perhaps the security chief had it on him. According to a terminal log, auto mechanicals turned hostile and began attacking the other workers. The plant security chief responded by making his way down to the control room. Um. All right. So, uh, 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 we need to find a key card. We got We need to find the security chief, okay? And he went down to a control room. The thing is, is where the hell is the control room? I mean, this place is a little confusing. So, let's go ahead and see if we can figure that out, I guess. Uh, or I guess we can just follow the quest marker <laughs> that makes things a little easy doesn't it we must have already looted that thing okay climbing back up I don't think we came down this way. This is a different... Or did we? Maybe we did. Yeah, we must have come that way. Okay, where's our quest marker? It is that way. Logic module. Okay, so it's in here. Uh, unlock with geothermal security chief's keycard. Where... Where did we get that? Oh, that's right. We found it off the guy's body in there. Okay. Bypass shunt mag pick. Okay, we'll take all of that. Weapon parts. Adrenatime. There's the logic module. Okay. So, we need to return this now to Ludwig.
Wait, what do we do with it? Yeah, I guess we just have to bring this back to him now. Okay. Alright, so we got the side quest finished. Now, let's finish the main quest. Except for that we are, like, way out of time. So, I think, guys, we're going to end the episode here. Uh, and then we'll just we'll start up right where we left off in the next episode, and we will finish uh, this main quest and then go from there. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, share out the video, and leave a comment. Those things do help. I do appreciate it, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.